let me begin with a quote that as I remember a dew drop and drops from mountain tops cascading and meandering over hills dales and meadows stopped with wonder and hesitancy before the vast ocean before joining the ocean it looked back but no way to return only option to join the ocean and be one with it Wakola Parish is the ocean of opportunities in many ways under the leadership of Father Felix an ambience is created with a supportive team of fathers Jude, Savio, Joe and Nasli thank each one of you because your support in the parish mission was truly efficacious we could share care for one another be it the parish council ssc meetings pre bap catechism whatsoever pre baptism classes gave me an opportunity to revive and review the initial catechism that i was giving it gave me a revival time for deeper meaning of living religious life and life as a christian family thanks to father nestle and the team for it was also mutual enrichment time to grow in spiritual life we as a members shared and enriched each other's lives by our mutual sharing and contribution to grow as parish christian community our five religious communities were spiritual luxury for me as well as for the parish of akola even during this pandemic parish added an outreach programs for the families cluster groups to sccs through zoom meetings a special word to my area number 25 mr vivian representative of the parish council ms irene area leaders coordinators and families in particular youth and students your support enriched and reaching out to one another was inspirational hello to everyone I am Sister Margaret from St. Charles Convent. It's already three years rendering my service in St. Anthony Parish, Wakola. My experiences are rich, varied and memorable, especially working in church sacristy. I really enjoyed being in the sacristy because God's special presence made it special. In this sacred place, I was also appreciated and encouraged by Father Felix, Father Joe, Father Savio, Father Jude and Father Nasli. I was also involved in teaching at St. Charles School. Students and staff was always energizing factors of my life. Teaching catechism classes and small Christian community area number 16 and 21 was also my passion. Hello everyone. First and foremost, I thank the Almighty for allowing me to be this parish for the past three years. A parish that is vibrant with lots of activities initiated by the vibrant parish team headed by Reverend Father Felix de Sousa, the parish priest. I was privileged to be the spiritual director of two small Christian communities and take part in all the activities initiated by them i was happy to see the most of the members of the community took lot of interest in every activity delegated to them involving the new the non christians too i enjoyed my service as the eucharist minister especially giving communion to the old and the sick people at home bound for 12 days and this has some of the homebound is receiving jesus enhanced my faith too 
I was also helping to count the money in the parish every week and I attended the PPC and SEC meeting at the representatives of the SAB community. I was happy to join for the prison ministry with the queues of the Apostle Sisters and I visited the prison for a few months. Then I wanted to continue but could not due to pandemic. The daily participation of the Holy Eucharist and the funeral mass was a special privilege that the Lord has given me. One year, I rendered my service as a catechist and also had a chance to be a spiritual director for the Legion of Mary in our parish. I was happy to see the unity of the religious communities and I enjoyed the religious get-together and various occasion, in various occasions by the parish team and the religious communities. Hello everybody. I'm sure you all know me by now. I am Sister Elizabeth from St. Charles Convent. Gratitude is the melody of the heart. It attracts God's love like a magnet. As I look back to my past experience here, I have indeed experienced God's tiny miracles in my life. And this is only possible because I am surrounded with God's wonderful people. At the outset, I would express my gratitude to the most dynamic parish priest, Reverend Father Felix, who has always kept Bacola alive and active. I am also grateful to Reverend Fathers Joe, Jude, Savio and Nasli for their vibrant presence in all the parish activities. It has indeed been a great pleasure for me to work with each one of you. My association with the parish pastoral activity has indeed been a rich experience. I take this opportunity to thank the parish coordinator of the SEC, the coordinators and animators. Thank you for your support and cooperation. Thank you for all the warmth and affection that you expressed. It was your support and help that enabled me to reach out in whatever way it was possible. May God bless your generosity and your goodness in rendering your service to the parish. Hello to everyone. I thank my God whenever I think of you and I pray with gladness. These are the words of St. Paul when he left his beloved Philippians. Time has gone by and now it is time for me to leave this parish and move to a new parish. I thank God Almighty for having kept me last eight years of my ministry in this parish. I was involved in various activities of this parish and in my community, I was involved in the women empowerment through women in need shelter. Besides this activity of my congregation, I was involved in this parish, especially care and concern ministry of the parish, looking after the needy, sick, and poor of this parish who were abandoned, left alone at home with no care. Each of these cases were taken up in the parish and was referred to me and willingly and lovingly with the cooperation of Father Felix I have done this history with Charles in heart. I was involved in the confirmation class as an animator under the leadership of Father Savio and it has added to my skills and increased my faith. I thank the Lord for having given me the chance to work with SEC coordinators and animators. 
and various other ministry I was involved in this branch. Each ministry has taught me incredible values to my ministry. Thank you and God bless Hello everyone, I am Sister Jennifer from the Congregation of the Sisters of St. Charles Borromeo. I was a B.A. student for past two years at St. Teresa's Institute of Education, Santa Cruz. Opportunities lead us to learning. Learning leads us to success. Dear friends, today I take leave of you all with a happy note because I go out from here wearing a crown of success because of the opportunities that were extended to me. I was lucky to be the part of this dynamic and vibrant parish and render my service as a Eucharistic minister and assist my sisters in different activities of the parish. Okay, so we are at this time of the year now where we have to say goodbye to all the priests and nuns who have worked with us throughout the years and also a time to welcome those who are coming to our parish. Uh, I would like to specifically thank uh, Sister Bernadine uh, who has been with us uh, uh, in this parish for quite a long time. I have had the opportunity to work with her uh, very closely in uh, the SCCs uh, as she was in charge of our area and uh, also for a short period of time in the parish council. So, uh, Sister, on behalf of the Parish Pastoral Council, uh, I would like to thank you for all the good work that you have done in this parish and I wish you all the best for wherever you go, whichever parish you will now serve. Thank you. So, Sister Margaret has been in charge of the altar and the sacristy for the last two years, but I got better acquainted with her during the last year when the pan pandemic started and it was a lockdown. So uh, we had to come in every day and do the recordings. But Sister Margaret uh, came in every day with us, made sure that the altar and the sacristy, everything was in place so that the recording could go on smoothly. Even when we had our big masses like the parish feast, the uh, Christmas and Easter masses, she made sure that everything was in place, the altar decorations, the flower arrangements, everything that a lot of which she herself has done and she made sure that everything ran smoothly and I think to a lot of people it would be like okay a uh, few people like me, Shakin, Amantya, all of us have always been working but it's these people who have been working in the background and making sure that everything runs smoothly. So on behalf of the parish of everybody around we want to say a big thank you to you sister. Thank you for being a part of the community at St. Anthony's. Thank you for doing everything that you do behind the scenes and making sure that everything runs smoothly. We appreciate it. Let us give ourselves to service. A verse from the letter to the Romans was Sister Jinsi Matthews' motto as she came to St. Anthony's Parish, Wakula in May 2018. Sister Jinsi belongs to St. Anne's congregation where she served as a superior for three years. She is very cheerful and always ready to serve with a smile on her face. During her stay, she was actively involved in catechism, a spiritual director in two SEC areas, leading the Legion of Mary with zeal and also served as an Eucharistic minister. In addition to these responsibilities, Sister Jinsi served for the prison ministry and during her free time visited many families and shared in their griefs. On behalf of the entire parish team, a very big thank you to you Sister Jinsi for your tireless sacrificial service rendered to St. Anthony's Parish, Vakola. Wishing you all the very best for your future and your years. Also, I would like to extend a big thank you to Sister Jennifer belongs to St. Charles Congregation. Though she was just two years in Vakola, she was always smiling and ready to render her services to the community. 
very special thank you to sister being an eucharist minister and helping us day in and out tumka dev bari guru munta sister tashins tumcha mukla mi sabak sad ani sad aun zait magta let me conclude with sister jennifer's mobile status god will show the way where seems to be no way thank you sister jean you have always been a gift and a blessing to the ssc i truly want you to know just how good you have been to all over the past few years your involvement with the communities your help ideas and suggestions has been so valuable to us we have learned so much from you i pray that our father always keeps you happy safe and strong because the world needs more people like you i have witnessed you in action may you always have a song in your heart a skip in your step and a light on your path so that you can keep doing the amazing things you are doing on behalf of the entire ssc team thank you sister jean and god bless you abundantly sister elizabeth gratitude and appreciation for everything that you have done in st anthony's church for kola your presence and your inputs your guidance especially with the sunday school and the first holy communion program is really highly regarded i feel honored to have worked with you uh, at sunday school um, for the time that you have given for the efforts and the contribution for your valued inputs at each step and each point um, thank you so much you have truly touched the lives of um, a lot of children that you have interacted with i know you have juggled a lot uh, for the couple of times that we've shared uh, with each other uh, your own education your own uh, contribution to the community apart from sunday school the school by itself uh but in spite of all of it i think um you did make time and you contributed a lot um i know you burned the night lamp when it came to preparing for sunday school classes online so thank you so much for that and uh, uh, really highly appreciated um thank you for uh, your contribution with the small christian communities and the lectors and the other associations that you were uh, associated with in vakola uh wish you all the very best um for the assignment that lies ahead of you and uh, vakola will surely miss you but i'm sure you're going to be out there uh, continuing the service of the lord and uh, uh, spreading the light of the lord everywhere you go just as you have in vakola and uh, wish you all the very best and thank you so much my dear parishioners in the priest and religious life transfers is a necessary agenda it becomes part of our life whether it's 3 years 4 years 5 years we get a transfer to some other institution to some other convent some other parish in a lighter vein i used to always say some spread happiness wherever they go and some spread happiness whenever they go but that's on a lighter vein over here it's a matter of joy at the same time partings are sweet sorrows joy because we thank the people for what they have done and been to the family at st anthony's vakola in all these people who are being transferred there must be a certain excitement also a new beginning a new community a new adventure to start with we have four transfers at st charles sister bernardin like the mentor she had been there prior to me coming and she is was there during my reign also Sister Bernadine has been the mother figure in this community. Along with her, Sister Margaret, a busy bee in the sacristy. You can never miss her. Always non-assuming in her work and doing her work silently. We'll miss her in the sacristy work. Sister Jennifer, 
who has been studying and uh, also has been transferred, she has also been involved in the communities. And of course, Sister Elizabeth, a stalwart in the primary section, she goes to another community in Mumbai itself. All these sisters have been part of the family at St. Anthony's in the sense that they belonged to the Sunday school, to the community center, to the communities. In some way or the other, they reached out to parishioners. My sincere thanks to them and wishing them all the best as they move on to the newer institution with greater expectation. From the Queen of the Apostles, Sister Jean, who was the superior, I am told she gets a transfer. She has been the person right through the years, always standing by the cases of battered women, domestic violence, and she takes up these cases in a very, very systematic manner. I have seen her operating, I have always given such cases to her, and she gives me a report as to how the treatment goes on and what is the solution for these people. Thanking you, Jean, for all the things that you have done in this parish, for your involvement, especially to this sector of vulnerable people. Also, Sister Jean has now finished her law, so that becomes an added thing in her future ministry as a lawyer. In the SAB, St. Anne's of Bangalore, we have Sister Jinsi, the superior, moving out. It is said for principals and teachers to take care of the students is a difficult task. What do you say of a superior who has to take charge of three principals? Three of them, Bindu, Sibi and Lali, three principals and she was the superior. Might have been a difficult task but nevertheless she did it with a smile. Sister Jinsi, thank you for being in this community, for, for the work in the SCCs, also the work in the parish by way of uh, coming here for the counting and also for being a wonderful Eucharistic minister. Thank you. All the best as you move on to a newer assignment. Thankfully, there are no changes in the Bridgetines community and the helpers of Mary. In the parish, as of now, only Father Joe moves out. Father Joseph Pimenta moves out to Jacob's Circle. Father Joseph, you know, has been here for five years. He has been with me for five years in also in Amboli Parish and here too for five years. And we have been lovely friends. And Father Joseph Pimenta, if you have noticed him, quite silent. He will do his work and is always available. That's the hallmark of Father Joe Pimenta. We will miss Father Joe Pimenta. He's a great observer. He might not get totally involved in the lives of the people or in any apostolate, but he observes and he tells us what's happening. All the best, Father Joe Pimenta, and thank you for being in the parish team. To all of you, God's choices, blessings. Keep in touch with this family. We would like you to visit here. And we, of course, if possible, will visit you. God bless. I would like to thank all the fathers, all my sisters and teachers, catechists and area coordinators, and to all those who came into my life during the stay in Vakola, wherein I think we were mutually enriched and blessed I really experience the unity in this parish community. I truly enjoyed being in this St. Anthony Parish Vakula. Thank you very much. God bless. I thank Father Pelis and all the superiors of all each four congregation all heartedly for their support. Keep me in your prayers and I assure you my prayers. I do thank for all those who are helping in different ways 
the animators of my community, the coordinators of my community, and even all those who helped me in different ways, I thank you. As I take leave of Vakola, I carry memories of parish community that is alive, vibrant, and ready to walk in the ways of our God, Good Shepherd, Jesus Christ. God bless St. Anthony's Church. My special thanks once again to our parish team, that is Father Felix, Father Joe, Father Savio, Father Jude, and Father Nestle. I also thank all my coordinators with whom I closely associated with, our parish community where we shared with each one of you as a family. I also thank all the sisters of our parish community. All of us been lived as one family. I thank God. I pray, dear Lord, touch the people of Vakola. Keep them happy, safe, and give them your love, compassion, and care. Bless them all with good health, peace of mind, and kindness in their heart. Amen. God bless. Dear parishioners, I would like to express my gratitude to many. First and foremost, I would place my gratitude to my community at the window. I thank Father Felix, our parish priest, for all his support in my ministry. I thank all the parish team priests. They are incredible and they are very, very nice priests. I thank each one of them for their love, respect and concern towards me. I thank all the SEC coordinators and animators. You are a part of my mission. I thank youth group, choir, ushers, and all the sacristans, teachers, and all well wishers of this parish. You have contributed a lot to my growth and to my ministry. I thank all the confirmation animators who have formed my growth in my spiritual life as well as in my skills. I thank all of you for all that you are doing in this parish. And I promise you that I will pray and keep you always in my prayers. Please do remember me in your prayers. Thank you. Thanks to Reverend Father Felix and the parish team for all your love, kindness, hospitality and generosity. Thanks to all the sisters in the parish, whoever I encountered. It was a wonderful journey being with you all. Thanks to Mr. William and all the Eucharistic ministers for all your love. May the face of the Lord shine upon you and be gracious to you. I wish Jesus to you all. Thank you. To conclude, I thank all the people of Vakola for your affection, for your kindness and for the family spirit that I experienced here from each one of you. For me, this was a family more than a parish. Thank you, dear people. Kindly keep me in your prayers and I do assure my prayers that God may keep you safe, grant you enough peace and happiness. And I also thank all the sisters with whom I work with it was a wonderful and lovely moment spending time together as and when possible. May God bless each one of you with an abundance of his blessings, graces and goodness. Thank you.